What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a week free reading for September of 2022 for Sign of Leo. This hashtag, what's up, my Leos? Just saying. This covers the nature of Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Uh, free general collective reading. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Um, they're currently open right now. You have to text me to book. Okay. All right. So um, this is on Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages. Um, if they possibly apply for you, please don't force anything. It doesn't fit. Okay? Okay, so I received two channel messages in as I was meditating on your energy, um, Leo. The first one, I heard heavy gang stalking. And there was a little bit more to that. I heard heavy gang stalking. And I heard um, through many series of chain of events, for one of you guys, it's about to seriously backfire on them. So... It sounds like some of you guys are getting very heavily gang stalked, but through, and it sounds like it hasn't happened yet, upcoming through many series of chain of events, whoever is gang stalking you, and it sounds like it's several people or a group or what have you, what have you, I heard it's about to backfire on them. So that's for at least one of you. Um, it sounds like it's going to benefit you. Um, nobody deserves to be gang stalked, targeted, bullied, or harassed, and that's just the truth, but people do it all the time. And the second one I heard, a Leo's child is about to get a uh, award soon. Award. So, congratulations to whatever Leo parent this is. Your child's about to get an award. Um, I love it when my children get awards. It makes me feel so proud as a parent. So proud. So, um, congratulations to whoever that is for. Um, it makes, I know it makes me feel proud, like proud parent energy. I think it'll make you guys feel like proud parent energy too, whoever that's for. Okay? Okay. I love you guys. All right, I pulled to, I, I've been doing tarot spreads this round. The Hangman reverse, Eight of Swords reverse, Princes of Pentacles upright, Three of Wands reverse. Someone has recently bailed out of jail. Someone is being interrogated behind the scenes from you. Someone has recently been bailed out of jail and someone um, being interrogated behind the scenes from you. So it's not in your energetic space. Um, it's behind the scenes from you, Leo. Somebody's being interrogated. Um, if this resonates for you. So you're not being enlightened on the situation. Um, they're not in jail. Um, but, um, I don't know if, you know, a series of chain of events are going to create where they get put in jail. I don't know, but some kind of interrogation energy, but in the current inter energetic space, they're not in jail. They're being interrogated, if this resonates for you. And for one, they just recently got out of jail. So that could be, you haven't been enlightened because it's happened behind the scenes from you. They were eight of swords upright, physical jail. Now they're out of jail, if that resonates for you. And a Virgo feminine that was once getting a lot of opportunities, she did it off your back. Now, opportunities are being blocked for her. Younger Virgo feminine. And an older Leo feminine. Okay, so and an old, a low, older Leo femme and a younger Virgo femme that once got lots of opportunities off your back, Leo. So, um, I feel they're like, pick me, pick me energy. Like, pick me, pick me, pick me. Uh, it's a, Vir a younger Virgo femme. I feel like we 35, 34 below have Virgo in any aspects of their chart. And an older Leo femme, 34, 35 or above, 
at Leo in any aspects of your charge. They once got a ton of opportunities um, off your back, basically. Uh, and a younger Leo fam. And a younger Leo fam. Holy crap. Um, now their opportunities are being blocked. So three of wands reverse. So stuck, stagnant movement. Blockages as far as opportunities and uh, movement forward in the career sector is what I'm feeling. Or business sector. Um, they, um, it was Princess of Pentacles. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. But now it's blocked. It's a younger Virgo film. 35, 34 below, younger Leo Femme, 35, 34 below, older Leo Femme, 35, 36 or above. A lot of Femmes, um, but it's it's being blocked. So I think they're being stuck and stagnant in their career or business opportunities, um, but they once got them off your back, meaning <clears throat> I think they were supposed to be given to you or somebody wanted to give them to you, but somebody... These people interceded in and took the opportunities um, is what I'm presuming. Um, I don't know. I don't go and take other people's shit. So, um, but that's what I'm presuming. You play it in how it resonates. These people's careers are about to decline in a huge way. These people's careers are about to decline in a huge way. And one is about to find out they're pregnant by a coworker. Oh my God. Whoa. These people's careers are about to decline in a huge way. And one of these people, they're about to find out they're pregnant by a co-worker. Oh, my God. Woo! Well, aren't you glad you aren't in that, Leo? Holy good Lord. All right, let's get some tea leaves. Spirit message is you have with like this. A Leo masculine is about to be questioned about a death soon. Connected to his toxic family and a black magic coven. You're going to want to lie. It will not be smart. They already know so much before they question you. Know this. And for one of you, one of the people going to question you is someone you went to school with. But they are not, they are not going to um, take care. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. Mm. So for one, you're a Leo masculine. Um, you could have Leo in any aspects of your charts. I feel you could be any age. You're about to be questioned about a black magic, um, a death connected to a black magic coven, but connected to your family. So I feel you're in the coven or you're one of your family members or family members is in the coven or was in the coven. But um, you're about to be questioned. I heard you're going to want to lie, but I heard it wouldn't be smart. Of course, you have the free will to lie if you want to, but... For one of you guys, one of the people about to question you is somebody you went to school with, you grew up with, basically. But um, I think you're going to think you can smooth them, is what I'm thinking here. I think that's the reason I'm pulling this in. But I heard it's not going to work. So just know that. Um, it's going to be, you need to tell the truth. Because I heard whoever it is, they're going to know a lot more before they come question you. So, um, of course, you have the free will a lot, if you want, whoever you are. But, um, uh, it don't sound like you'd be smart, and that's just the truth. So, of course, you have free will, okay? Persevere, and you will overcome problems, family sorrow, financial pinch. A life insurance policy that was taken out on a family member claiming they are dead is about to seriously backfire on a Leo masculine and his family. It's a Leo fem family member that they claim was dead. And she's not dead. Oh, my God. Whoa. A life insurance policy that was taken out on. Oh, you're coming in very strong, Leo masculine. You, so your family took out a life insurance policy on apparently a Leo fem family member. But I heard um, claiming that she was dead. Claiming she was dead. But I heard she's not dead. Um, I heard it's about to seriously backfire on you and your family. So... In a huge way. In a huge way. People know so much. People know so much. In a huge way, people know so much. So however that resonates, Leo Masculine, I feel you might be questioned about this. Um, if you have stolen money regarding this, it'd be, in my opinion, it'd be smart to turn it in. But of course, 
you know, you have free will to do whatever you want to do there. But if you feel you connect with this Leo masculine and you know this is your story, I don't know if you've already received communication with an investigator regarding this or police or what have you, what have you. But I heard it's going to backfire. I mean, they it sounds like they're already on your ass, whether you know it or not, you and your family. Um, there's a reason your whole, it sounds like your whole family was in cahoots to basically take out this life insurance policy on this other Leo Finn family member that's very much still alive. Um, that, that's it. Holy shit. Persevere and you overcome problems. A Capricorn and a Libra and a Sagittarius is about to become very significant in your life. A Capricorn, a Libra, and a Sagittarius is about to become very and an Aries. An Aries. A Capricorn, a Libra, a Sagittarius, and an Aries is about to become very significant in your life. So persevere and you will overcome problems. Um, I think there might be I think they might be members of your family. We have family sorrow and financial pinch. Um, I think they might be members of your family. Or close connections of yours, whoever, however that resonates. Heard Capricorn, Libra, Sag, and Aries. Capricorn, Libra, Sag, and Aries. It could be a mask or femme. Capricorn, Libra, Sag, or Aries. They could have Capricorn, Libra, Sag, or Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thin, Man, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But I think they're members of your family for some of you guys. And for some, um, I think y'all are going to maybe put your heads together, like meeting in the minds, and persevere to overcome problems, possibly. I feel for some, your family could be having fam um, problems, money problems, or you could be having money problems. How that resonates and applies, Leo, okay? <clears throat> Only you know your uh, relationship with your family, not anybody else, okay? Like, I'm estranged from mine, but I know some of you guys are. So, you plug in how it resonates. For one, your YouTube account is shadow banned. But through many series of chain events, it's about to go, 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 go. It has been shadow banned for a long time. But somebody's on to them. On to them. For one of you guys, your um, YouTube account has been shadow banned. But through many series of chain events, it's about to go, 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 go. So I'm assuming go fast. Um, somebody's on to them. So I think it might be somebody in YouTube or somebody else that's on to these people. Whoever's got your YouTube account shadow ban, Leo, and that could be the persevere and overcome problems too. Family, so family sorrow. There's about to be a very significant plane crash. Very significant. There's about to be a very significant plane crash. Very significant is what I heard. And I've been picking up heavy plane crash energy in my readings. Heavy. Um, <clears throat> somebody's got a con sister that um, apparently is going to be on a plane. And it, um, it sounds like um, from the reading, um, it don't have to be your sister. But I'm just picking, uh, telling you from what I, energy I was picking up in one of the readings. Um, somebody has, it basically they're a con. Like Catch Me If You Can, the Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Except she conned her sister. So she's like Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio in Catch Me If You Can. But she sounds like she's about to board a plane soon. And the plane is going to have some kind of difficulties. And it's going to end up crashing and killing her and many other people on the plane. And blase, blase, blase. For one, this could be maybe a member of your family. For some, it could be somebody else. But I did the reading probably about a week ago or so. Uh, now, my readings resonate. They could resonate an hour after I do them or 10 weeks after I do them. So, or 10, or a year, you know. So, I don't know when that plane crash is going to occur, but um, it was significant for many reasons in that reading because it's going to be, like, huge, like, on the news, like, national. 
and one of the people on the plane is that Ponsis. And there's going to be a huge investigation with that because she is basically con, a member of her family. For some, it could be your con sis, if you know you have a con sister. For some, it could be somebody else. But there's some kind of plane crash significant. And I think for some, your member, your family is going to be on this plane. Or they're, maybe they're an employee on this plane. Or maybe they are an airline pilot or what have you, what have you. But, or a passenger. But somehow, a, a airplane crash is going to become significant and it's going to cause family sorrow. Whether it is a member of your family actually on this plane or somebody else's family member. How that resonates, Leo. Okay. Lobster, financial pinch. Someone you know is about to get caught smuggling drugs in a healthcare facility. For one, you were using the drugs to distribute them in the community. No, you will get caught through many series of chain of events. They will turn on you. Oh, my God Almighty. Whoa. One of you guys is a drug dealer. Holy shit. Okay. Well, okay. So, one of you guys is connected with somebody in your community that works in a healthcare facility. Now, that could be anywhere, but it's somewhere that they have easy access to drugs. And whoever you're connected to, they have credentials to have easy connections to drugs. And that's just true for a pro. So, whoever this is for. You connect with this person strictly to get the drugs that they steal from the healthcare facility so you can sell them out in your community. But they're about to get caught. So once they get caught, I heard they're going to snitch on you. So financial pinch for you because you're not going to have the free drugs that they've been stealing from the healthcare facility to basically drug, um, not drug, but sell to your community and pocket the money which is going to leave you in a financial pinch and them in a financial pinch because they'll probably get their ass fired and they should. They are most certainly about to get terminated. They most certainly are about to get terminated. I heard they're most certainly about to get terminated. Yeah, well, they should. One of you guys is a drug dealer and I'm just being for real. You're doing it the smart way, but the evil smart way and your ass is about to get caught. So I think for many series of time events, you're probably going to end up in jail. Jail. Eight of Swords, just for real, for real. Obviously, that's for a low vibrational Leo, if you might need to hear that, okay? Obviously. I'm not calling you all you guys drug dealers. Not at all, not at all. But I am picking up heavy drug dealer energy in here, and I'm just being for real, okay? And for one, you're really, really, really saving your money. Has had a huge cut in finances. But you're about to be very smart and make it grow. And one of you guys is um, really conserving and saving your money. You've had a huge cut in finances. Uh, but I heard through many series of shame events, you're about to um, make some smart decisions here. And you're about to make um, what little you have that you're financially conserving grow. So you're in a financial pinch now. But it sounds like you, um, you manifest positively, whoever you are. And I feel you're high vibrational Leo. So I feel you're like on a fixed income and um, like me and um, you, but whatever you do, you, you, you take the money you have and you put it off and you manifest it to make it grow. So you're not like a spin, 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 or like a materialistic, um, like a just blow it, blow it, blow it. You conserve and take what you have to make it grow, like a seed that turns into a bloom. Um, so that's a positive thing, if that mes uh, res message resonates with you. I feel you're going to take a little bit of the money and invest it and watch it grow. 
Now, however you invest it, you know, it could be um, any creative endeavor or idea, or it could be stocks and bonds or what have you, what have you, okay? I think that could be the persevering you will overcome problems as well. A Scorpio masculine is about to betray a Leo masculine in a huge way. He's about to be forced to through many series of shame events. Know this. A Scorpio masculine is about to betray a Leo masculine. I heard he's about to be forced to through many series of shame events. Um, I feel for some of you, Scorpio masculine could be a member of your family. Or, yeah, I feel like it could be a member of your family. Or connected to your family. We have family sorrow. Um, maybe he's in a financial pinch. Possibly. It's a Scorpio masculine. He's about to betray a Leo masculine. Her's about to be forced to. So somehow, I mean, it doesn't sound like he wants to, but he's going to. It sounds like he's going to be forced to. So it sounds like he's going to be put in a position to basically betray you, low vibrational Leo masculine, whether he wants to or not. Doesn't sound like he wants to. Doesn't sound like he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so, sounds like some kind of series of chain events are about to be created in the universe to where he's going to have to, whether he wants to or not. Uh, low vibrational Leo masculine. I put in a lot of Leo masculine energy in here. A lot. A lot, a lot. An illegal business, illegal family business is about to ruin a family. Absolutely ruin a family in many levels. An illegal family business is about to absolutely ruin um, a family on many levels is what I heard. A Taurus that once heavily worked with this family is about to betray in a huge way. And an Aries, a Taurus and an Aries that once very heavily worked with this family, with this illegal business, with this family, toxic family dy dynamic here. For some, you could be in this toxic family dynamic. For some, you can know this toxic family dynamic, however that resonates. But it's a Taurus and an Aries that once heavily worked with this toxic, toxic family dynamic, but they're about to reveal information on it. And a Scorpio, and a Scorpio. So a Taurus, an Aries, and a Scorpio. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, um, Leo. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. All right, I did. I did. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.